Prophecy, don't want no problems, not with me I just might call her Mama E Slay all my demons, watch them leave uh. Prophecy, don't want no problems, not with me I just might call her Mama E Slay all my demons, watch them leave uh. Welcome, welcome, welcome Welcome back to my channel I'm Mama Eve and today's a good day Today's a great day Today has been a fabulous day but what's more important, today is your day. Welcome back, my honey bunnies, for uh, another video. Today, I want to show you, because I haven't shown you how to make a bath lately. So, I want to show you how to make a blue bath. A blue bath. And um, what is a blue bath, mama? A blue bath is for cleansing, taking away that nasty, heavy feeling. You know, like sometimes uh, we just feel like all of our energy is drained, and sometimes we just feel we feel heavy. And sometimes it's coming from people throwing at you or bad vibrations, or even it could be if you was in a situation. Where you was around some folks that had some really funky energy. So this is a perfect bath. Plus, this is a great, great, great bath to give children. It will calm them down as well as spiritually cleanse. Sometimes we feel as though we need to be spiritually cleansed, but our children do not so that's not necessarily true because spirits love children they love children if you notice most horror movies uh really bad horror movies always is always a child or children involved that's because spirits good and bad you know there's a saying that when you have a little infant baby and that baby is smiling um while he or she is asleep, they say, well, she's entertaining angels or the angels are talking to her or the angels, she's commu they're communicating or she see angels. But we don't know if that's true or not. But I do believe, I believe that there is um, angels that watch over us both day and night. So this bath is kind of simple. But baby, is it powerful. Some call this a Haitian blue bath. I'm just calling it a blue bath. Get your paper and your pen and pencil. And I want you to jot down the ingredients. All right? So I'll wait for a second. All right. The first thing you're going to need for a blue bath is blue. What is blue or where can I get blue? Okay, this little square here is a blue square. This is um, made from indigo, but it's really used to whiten up your white clothes. But spiritually, we use this for cleansing. For cleansing now it comes in little squares I have it in little squares but it also comes in balls blue balls when my my children was very young I used to give them the blue ball baths because I didn't I didn't I didn't know I wasn't aware of the squares but as the years went on you see more squares and less blue balls so I know for me I carry the squares now, if you can't get to a botanica to get your blue square, you can order it like this. And, and you can tell this is used, okay? Dr. I mean, Mrs. Stewart's Liquid Bluing. This is this, all right? But you can get this right from any place like Walmart, maybe, Amazon. And it's actually um, tell you for the laundry how much to put in to whiten up 
your clothes. Now, I want to stop right here and say, if you're going to be taking a bath with this, it is very important that you run your water first. Or you make the bath, you run your water before you pour your bath that we're going to make today. Because if you just take this blue square, or if you just squirt the blue in, in your tub, it will stain it. Now, I'm not going to say that little um, cleaner um, might not get it out, but why even go through all of that? All right? So, make sure that you put water in your tub first. So, you're going to need bluing. I want you to get one lemon, fresh lemon. I want you to get some mint. This is peppermint. But it has to be fresh, fresh peppermint, right? You're going to need some holy water or blessed water. And you're also going to need some Florida water, whether it's the one that you make yourself or the commercial, all right? Now, I just did a video talking about coconut prior to this. So what I'm actually going to be doing is instead of using water, I'm actually going to be using the coconut water from the coconut. You're going to need um, a knife to cut your lemon and some type of jar. And of course, you're going to need something to mix this bath in. All right. So the first thing I want you to do is you're going to put your water in, in a container, a bowl, This is the coconut water that I just took out the coconut, all right? Inside of that, I'm gonna be using a blue square. And remember, this is wonderful for children. It would've been nice if I would've had a spoon, but I don't have one right here. But, let me see hope you can see. See, it doesn't take long. See how it's turning blue? Now to this, I want you to use the juice of one fresh lemon. I actually have my, I don't know what you call this, but my lemon is a little bit too big, so it's not gonna work. All right. If you want to, you can actually add the lemon to your tub. All right, got that. All right, now I'm actually gonna save those lemons. All right, now I want you to take your, this is peppermint, and throw it in. And we're gonna squish it around with our fingers. Get that energy out of that peppermint. All right? Can you use dry peppermint in this bath? No. All right, you're gonna do that for a while. Okay. To this bath, I'm gonna put me some squirts of holy water. And Some Florida water. And you know what? Let me tell you about the energy of the Florida water. Whenever you add Florida water to baths or, or um, holy water, it turns real warm. 
I like to think of it is that's the energy. I'm going to be taking this bath myself. All right, we want to move them around. It's going to smell good. Now, you can use a little bit of your favorite perfume if you want to, but it smells delicious. Now, if you see clients, this is a great bath that you can um, suggest your clients to take. Make it up for them. You make it up for them. And when they come to finish getting their readings or their consultations, suggest that they take you know, I don't like one bath, but you can suggest that they take three of these baths. Depending on how how your traffic, your spiritual traffic is. Because we all know that not everybody leaves good energy in our places all the time. It's not their fault, but that's why they're coming to see us. All right? So get all that energy, get all that energy. Move those fingers around. Squeeze those leaves. Get it all mixed in. Now you know you could even wash your altar cloths, put a little of this and make it up and put it in a jar and put a few tablespoons in your wash machine to um, run the water first to wash your altar cloths or your poleros or your holy cloths or add some a little bit to a bucket and wash down your altar tables your altar your tables or altar tables this is a wonderful bath and I'm concentrating that the negative that I picked up or the negative that was sent my way will go right down the drain as I drain this water out after my bath. And we all know people always send a negative energy. They send positive too. So I'll keep the positive and get rid of the negative. All right. So this is a simple bath. Don't forget to my little honey buns. Moms, dad, grandma, granddad. Make this bath up for the little young ones. They have a problem sitting still and don't have um, a good attention span and can't sleep, can't rest, keep you up all night. Now, I would not give it to an infant baby. I would say at least hmm, three or four before they can take this bath. All right, so what I'm gonna do, y'all know I'm messy. Told y'all I'm messy. I'm taking a bath without the bathtub. Okay, I'm all finished now. This is my wonderful bluing bath. Some people call this a Haitian bluing bath. I just call it a bluing bath. Y'all go ahead and make this. And listen, look at my hands. They're blue. So if you want to, wear gloves. All right? It doesn't bother me much because my hands are all, always out the colors. But this bath smells wonderful. Mm, it smells wonderful and it's powerful. So y'all go out and get your stuff, get your ingredients and make this bath. And leave in the comments how you like it. Remember, take three baths. Three, five, seven, nine. On even numbers. All right? One for maintenance. Okay? So, I'm going to relax a little bit. I'm going to eat a little bit. And then I'm going to take me this wonderful blue bath. I only have one other thing to say. 
that is kisses Mwah. prophecy don't want no problems not with me i just might call a mama e slay all my demons watch them leave uh. prophecy don't want no problems not with me i just might call a mama e slay all my demons watch them leave